Welcome to this video on device syncing. This video will go into all the details of de the device syncing feature, uh, buying the add-on, uh, setting it up, and all the ins and outs of how to use it. Now, on screen we have Biz Expense Tracker, but this feature pertains to our other tracking apps like Expense Tracker, Mile Tracker, and Time Tracker. So if you're using one of these four apps, then you're in the right place. So let's Let's talk about purchasing the add-on. To purchase the add-on, you have to go into the Preferences screen, and you'll see a similar option here that says to buy device sync. I've already bought it prior to the recording the video, but you'd have to go through the steps of uh, buying it uh, through the App Store. And what you do is it, it, it's actually all done within the app, and that's why it's called an in-app purchase. So once purchased, um, you'll see a little difference in the app. You'll see a, an additional preference called Sync Services, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But let me talk about the purchasing of the add-on and enabling it in your other devices. So as you purchase an app, you own it for life. You purchase uh, an in-app purchase, you own it for life as well. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to go onto your other device go into the preferences and choose the restore in-app purchases option. What this will do is this will enable the add-on, actually it'll, it'll enable all the, any purchase, any other purchases you've made on the other device inside of Biz Expense Tracker, enable them on this device. So um, now our device syncing feature allows you to sync between uh, unlimited number of devices. The typical case is you'd sync between uh, two devices. But if you have more than two devices, you'd have to repeat the restore in-app purchases option um, in all your devices to enable them. Now, the only way this will work is if all your devices are using the same Apple ID, the same iTunes account. Now, that is typical. You typically would have, say, an iPhone and an iPad, and it, because they're both yours, you're using the same Apple ID, you can, res you can restore the in-app purchase, and that's fine. There is a case where uh, you, the, you might be uh, two people and you each have your own Apple ID account and you still want to use the device sync feature. That is possible, but you still, you both will need to buy the app and you both will need to buy the add-on. There's no way around that. And I'll talk about how to use that, um, how to do that later in the video, but just keep that in mind that um, the restore in-app purchase will only work with devices that are using the same Apple ID. Um, the App Store will uh, query your account, see that you own the, the, the add-on, and then enable it if you do that. So um, let's uh, take a look further down at the Sync Services option. Now the preferences shows two options. Well, it shows three, Off and Dropbox and iCloud. Dropbox and iCloud is what I call an intermediary. Intermediaries are where the changes you make are stored in. So for instance, if you make a change on your device, those changes are placed in the intermediary so that the other device can get a hold of those changes. And that's how the changes are communicated back and forth between the devices. Now, when you, the very first the thing you need to do is a one-time setup. And what that one-time setup is takes all of your data, and I underline, bold, all, all of your data from one device. When I say all data, I'm talking only about the, the biz expense tracker, the expense tracker, model tracker, time tracker data, um, from one device over to the other device. So for instance, uh, in this example, I'm gonna use an iPhone, with, which has all your data, and then a scenario where you've purchased a new iPad and you, or you bought this expense tracker on that iPad, but it has no data. So what you'd want to do is come here and click on iCloud. And then it asks you this friendly question, does this device have the data? Does the other device have the data? Or the device is already equal? Well, in this case, we're on your iPhone. It has all your biz expense tracker data that you've been entering in for a few days, for a few weeks, whatever. Doesn't matter, a few months. And you want to send it over to your empty iPad. So you'd want to choose this has the data, this device has the data. And once you do that, you just confirm. And what it does is it uploads all of your data, complete backup of your data to iCloud. And it'll sit on iCloud until we 
pull it down on your other device. So let's, uh, let's save this. Now let's pretend now we're on the new iPad. Clearly this is not an iPad screen, but let's pretend we're on the iPad and you go into preferences and this would be off by default and you come in here and you select iCloud. Then it comes up with that friendly message again and asks, do you want to, um, what, what device has the data? Well, in this case, it's very important that you choose other device has the data. And what happens is you can confirm that and it, 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 it brings down all of your data. You get this nice uh, hooray sound. And that means now that your iPad has all your data from your iPhone. They're equal. And that, that's, very, that's key to the syncing process because you want the two devices to start off equal. But now the beauty of the feature is that if you make changes on either device, your iPhone or your iPad, the change will appear automatically. You don't have to do anything. Um, the, de the devices will communicate and know when changes have been made and um, the changes will be brought down on either device. And that's all you need to do for iCloud. You're done. Um, now let's talk about um, Let's talk about Dropbox because that's a different scenario and uh, like I said, if you have the, the situation where you have multiple devices not using the same uh, iCloud account, you need to use Dropbox. And what you do is you go to Dropbox.com, you create a free Dropbox account, and then what you do is you share that account amongst the other person or persons that you want to keep synced. Um, the username and the password would be, uh, you pass that on to the other person. And the very first thing is you need to decide which device has all the data. Same like iCloud setup. One of the devices has all the data, the other device um, uh, would be empty. Now if the other device is not empty and has data, you need to make only one device have the data. Um, you need to reconcile that manually, add entries or whatever you need to do to make that one device have all the data. Because this, once you do this process, it overwrites all the data from one device to the other. Sorry I'm saying this so many times, but I just want to make sure it's clear. So you would select Dropbox. Now, if you had not signed into Dropbox, it would say sign in. In this case, I've pre-signed in and we're all signed into Dropbox. We're all, we're all ready to go. So I'd save this preference. Now, with Dropbox, you have to issue the sync command periodically, but you also have to do this one-time setup. So you come to the log view screen. By the way, this is called the log view screen. You tap on options and select sync. You'd see the little Dropbox icon right beside it. You select sync. Now it'll ask you this friendly question, is this your first sync? And you would say, Yes. And then you'd ask, you'd be asked another friendly question, do you want to give or take? Well, you need to do this first on the device with all your data. And you choose give. And what this does is upload all your files to Dropbox. Now Dropbox has all a complete backup of your data. It's all ready to go. Once that's done, you go to the other device. Let's pretend we're on the iPad. Once again, I know um, I know this is not um, this is not an iPad screen, but we go to go go to um, Dropbox. It says sign uh, sign out, so we're all ready to go. And then we issue the options here. Sync. Is this your first sync? Yes, we're on the iPad. It's empty. It's a first sync. We want to get all the data from Dropbox. We'd say yes. All right, now here's where there's a slight difference. The, the, the screen is the same, but instead of choosing give, you want to choose take. You want to take down all your data. You do that, all the data is downloaded, and now magically both devices are equal. So your, your iPhone and your iPad are now identical in terms of data. Um, now what you need to remember is that uh, every so often you create a new log, you create some entries, the day is over, you tap on options and you choose sync. And what that'll do is upload all the changes to Dropbox and download any changes from the other device. 
you need to do this periodically, every few days, or as, as often as you want the devices equal. You can do as many as you, times you want, or as few as you want. Um, changes that are uh, made on a device are stored, and they're stored until you do that sync. And once you do the sync, the changes are uploaded to Dropbox. Um, and that's all there is to it. Um, so remember, Dropbox is not automatic, iCloud is automatic. Um, and that's the, the key difference. Dropbox allows you to sync with devices that are using different iCloud accounts. iCloud, of course, uses all the same account. Now, let, let's say, um, uh, let's talk about some, some issues you might, be you might encounter. One issue you might encounter is you go into the preference, you purchase the device sync, you want to use iCloud, and you come to the sync services, and you see iCloud is not listed. That could mean a few different things. First of all, it could mean iCloud is not set up on that device. Because once the device, is, once the Biz Expense Track or any other tracker apps are launched, it asks the app, is iCloud set up and do I have permission to use iCloud? If it says yes, then we show the iCloud option. So if you don't see iCloud, the problem is outside our app. And you gotta go, you gotta dig over into the settings app. Now I'm running a, I'm running a, uh, a simulator of an iPhone for the purpose of recording. This might not look exactly the same as on your device, but if you go into the settings app and go into iCloud, there's an option called, first of all, you need to be set up here. You see I'm, I'm set up here. Um, you also need to have documents and data turned on. If this is turned off, we will not be able to access your iCloud account. So you want to turn that on and tap and you tap on that. Make sure documents and data is turned on. You'd also see, it's not shown in, in the simulator, but you'd see a list of all the apps which um, are using iCloud and have the ability to use iCloud. You want to make sure that Biz Expense Tracker or whichever app you're using is turned on. By default, it'll be turned on. It's, it's rare that you turn it off, but just in case you're troubleshooting and iCloud's not listed in the preferences, you want to make sure, once again, that documents and data is turned on and our app name is turned on. You don't see it here, but it would be listed. And that's, um, that's uh, one uh, troubleshooting uh, I offer, just in case. Now, one other possibility is, is that, um, for whatever reason, you're looking at your iPad, and there's an entry missing that, that you created on the iPhone that didn't make it through. Uh, maybe there was some issue with iCloud, I don't know, the, uh, the internet dropped at that time and it didn't get resent properly or whatever. Um, if there's an entry that's on one device that's not on the other, all you need to do is go into that entry and save it. And by saving it, you mark it as being needing to be sent over and it will be, it will be marked as being needing to be sent over. If you're using iCloud, it will be automatically sent over. If you're using Dropbox, you have to issue the Dropbox command to send, send it up to the intermediary and then go to the other device and download it. And those are two key troubleshooting that I'll offer. Um, those are the, the key things that, that people have issue with. The other issue people have is um, needing to pay for the add-on on both devices. And of course, we discussed that already. You don't, if you're using the same account, you just do the restore in-app purchase and enable it. Um, if you have any issues with, with uh, device syncing, uh, please email me at scott at silverwaresoftware.com. We also have a forum online on our website, a forum section. Silverware, go to silverwaresoftware.com and tap the forums button, and you'll see a forum on each of the apps that you can take a look at the different um, questions people ask. If you have some very unique question pertaining specifically to, to you, I would recommend emailing. But if there's a question that you think others would um, benefit from, you can certainly post it on the forum. Um, emails get a little quicker turnaround time, so if there's something critical, you know, definitely shoot us an email. Uh, forum messages are re responded slightly uh, longer, usually once a day. Um, and uh, please take a look at our other videos. This is a one in a series of many new videos being recorded. Uh, we're going to have a lot of other videos to get the most out of Biz Expense Tracker and Expense Tracker and Time Tracker and Mall Tracker. Um, 
uh, it, we'll, we'll try to mark them on the website as being uh, new. Um, and this way you can see all the new ones. This one on device syncing, we're going to have some ones on uh, getting the most out of uh, using the app, uh, so creating reports, um, and some other titles, which I think uh, anyone watching will benefit from. Uh, so that is all. Thank you for listening. And if you have any feedback, you can email me as well, scott at silverwaresoftware.com.